Welcome to a new business finance short problem solving lecture. We will now have a look at study problem 15-9 in page 481 from the 8th edition of our textbook. Here is a view of the problem. Let's go ahead and highlight some key facts provided in the problem. We are to calculate the effective cost of the following source of finance, basically trade credit. and uh, we are given four different cases and we are to calculate the effective cost for the following uh, four where payment is made on net due date as described in these four trade credit terms. Before I begin, I would like to elaborate on the meaning of this trade credit and how it works basically. So trade credit is an unsecured source of financing. It's one of the better known and spontaneous sources of financing for the firm who is making purchases of merchandise from its suppliers. All you need to do is to place an order with your supplier and then your supplier will uh, check your credit and if your credit is good you will be sent the merchandise and the purchasing firm then will pay for the goods in accordance with the supplier's uh, credit terms obviously. The credit terms offered with trade credit involve a cash discount for early payment. Huh? So let's make note of that. So it involves a cash discount for early payment. For example, a supplier might offer terms as described in part A of our problem, 2 over 10, net 30. That means a 2% discount is offered if payment is made within 10 days or the full amount of the invoice is due within 30 days. Therefore, a 2% penalty is involved for not paying within 10 days or for basically delaying payment from the 10th to the 30th day, which is a 20 day, a 20 day span. The effective annual cost of not taking the cash discount can be quite severe. So in this example, for instance, to, to calculate the um, effective cost of the trade credit terms here uh, I will assume an invoice amount of uh, let the invoice amount be say $100 so the effective cost of passing up the discount period using this credit term would be as follows so the APR in that case would be well the penalty will be $2 huh? instead of making uh, a nine. $98 payment at the end of the day 10 you will be making $100 at the end of day 30 so as a result you will be effectively paying a 2% interest and it is as if you are borrowing $98 and it is again as if you are borrowing the money for 20 days and making this calculation we realize that the effective cost is quite high actually a 36.73% cost of borrowing funds it's quite expensive and by the way that once the discount period has passed there is no reason to pay before the final due date huh? so if it, the tenth day in this example is, has already passed there's no point in making the payment in day 11 or 12 so you, you'd rather be better off waiting until the 30th day so here I want to make the following uh, argument so this is day 0 day 10 day 20 day 30 so the basic story is the following so you have two options so you, you have received an invoice in day 0 and you are given two options for a $100 uh, invoice either you have an option to pay $98 here or wait till day 30 and pay 100 it is as if we are borrowing 98 dollar uh, yes for 20 days if we are not making the payment by the end of day 10 uh, and then we are paying a two dollar interest by the end of day 30 so that's the meaning of all these calculations actually that's the interpretation so this number is quite high and that answers the first part of the problem now we can quickly go ahead and calculate the remaining uh, uh, parts uh, so we can uh, let me open a new page actually so for part B um, the the terms of the trade credit is 315 net 
30 so we can get a 3% discount as a result and so the APR would be you will get a $3 penalty for not huh, for not paying by the end of the first 15 days so if instead you pay by the end of 30 days there's a 15 day difference here so we would be 360 over 15 uh, so that will come out as 74.23% a jaw-dropping number huh? very costly to borrow the second contract was 315 net uh, I believe it was net uh, 45 in that occasion the APR would be calculated as again three dollar here divided by 97 huh? so um, and then times uh, 360 over the difference between these two dates is 30 here and you would get a 37.11 percent difference here and cost and finally the last one would be 215 net um, I believe 60 in that case the APR would be equal to a 2 percent discount out of the 98 dollars 360 over this date difference is 45 days and bottom line you crank in the algebra and it gives you a 16.33 percent um, effective cost so that solves the problem and hope to see you in the next video